All right, so we got the new carb in the mail for the uh, HR 194. This is the old one. I'm gonna take the new one out of the box and uh, compare it to this one and see if any or all of the parts are interchangeable. So let's get into it. Oh, sorry. Long day. I ever got a new carburetor for anything, especially in the mail. Okay, here it is. Okay, so this little knockoff company that is too funny. Unless if this is the new company that took over the old company, but I went on the uh. I'll show you, actually. Let's see. Okay. I went on the website where these guys, and they're still in business, as far as I'm concerned. It sure looks like their their website is up to date and that they still sell stuff, um, except for this carburetor. Um, funny thing is they they make and sell a uh, carburetor for a Honda XR650 which is a uh, like a dirt bike um, okay so check out the new car you won't believe this I don't know what's going on here oh my gosh either talk about a knockoff people trying to <laughs> what is this what is this? What has my life come to? Oh my gosh. Okay, it, and it doesn't even. I, I can't believe it. Okay. Ooh, I do like this nut on here. That's a pretty cool looking nut compared to. This one, Psh, look at that, that's a cool one, let's see what else here, um, sorry, okay, so I heard on these, uh, these, what is going on with this cologne carb? Anyways, okay, am I seeing things? Oh my gosh, this is just great. Okay, check it out. I heard on these new carbs that the the position of the uh, fuel shutoff is different. It's the opposite. So, um, on the original carbs that came on the mower. This would be on, and this would be off, but on these, this is on, and this is off. See, this is in the on position right now, and this is in the on position. So, I think I'm going to um, put the guts from, take, take them apart and put the parts from this one in here, or I'm just going to flip around whatever's inside here. Another thing is, is... On these mowers the fuel line there's no extra slack at all no extra slack it's already very tight um, these things don't move around there's they're stuck where they are um, so this one comes out this way this is the original carb look at this one it goes straight up so there's not gonna be enough slack in the fuel line to make it come up over that way so that sucks um, gonna have to freaking 
put a new fuel line on there, which sucks. It's the original fuel line, and it's in good condition. It's not cracked or worn out or deteriorating or anything. It's a uh, it's a gray fuel line. Um, oh, what else, man? Um, I just don't know what to think. Oh my, here's another flaw. Okay, we see this open port here? We have this port. Check it. Completely closed off on this new one. Great. Um, <laughs> oh my, he's starting to get bummed out. Mad. Just kidding. Let's do some more, um, let's do some more taking apart of the two carbs here. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> they tightened this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Break that bad boy off. Okay. So, what I was hoping for when I got... I'll show you what happened here. See, they got smart now. Back when they were first making these carbs, they, they weren't really thinking. Um, okay, put them side by side here. Oh, look at how frozen this... Oh, I don't like that. These rummies, dummies. There we go. Okay. Let me take some parts out of this bag so you guys can see better here. Come on, baby. Okay, that's enough parts. All I need to show you guys. Okay. Here we have the new carb. You see how it has these uh, metal arms here? molded into the whole carburetor which is nice and as you can see the uh, insert in here where the needle comes in and out of on the float the insert in there is metal okay check it out this is the other carb okay the arms like this that hold the float pin in and the float here are plastic okay and this was like all I'm missing the other arm but this was all the uh, parts and here we have this plastic piece which the arms and whatnot came off of that got inserted into there which the needle would go in and out of this thing right and there's your needle and all that that goes in there. Okay, there's an O-ring on here, right? Usually when you have a gas leak or anything like that, fuel leak, overflowing, won't stop, pour, dumping out fuel, it's usually your uh, your needle or your float. It's usually your, your float is stuck or full of fuel because it's cracked. Um, or it's your needle and you replace your needle because it's not seeding properly well I tried a a different needle a good needle I tried a and and this needle is good anyways so um, the float wasn't stuck or anything like that um, I pushed the needle down inside here before this was all broken and whatnot when it was still all together pushed the needle down in there um, held it there and I blew through the fuel inlet and I put a little bit of water around here. Okay, the air bubbles were not coming from where the needle goes down in here. The air bubbles were coming out around the, uh, the o-ring here and it was bubbling out from around the sides here. So I thought well, anyways, it's no good anyways, the o-ring on there, so it was junk. But, um, stupid thing is, they don't 
make or sell obviously this part and um, it's not replaceable um, once I guess that goes bad you're screwed the whole carburetor is no good anymore um, I've been to lawnmower shops I've done googling I've done online research uh, I've tried forums I've tried videos um, I've tried websites that sell the parts I've tried the parts diagrams um, it's just something that they don't make si s extremely silly it's the one part of this whole entire car that they don't make or sell or have so that's the story on that as you see here they got smart after learning that this design was no good they made the metal arms and they made the thing inside there um, metal so it's easier to replace I guess when it goes bad what I was hoping for um, because I wanted to use the original carb because of the fuel shut off position and the uh, tube here is that I wanted to I was hoping that it had this still and I was gonna take try to take that whole thing out and put it in this one but it appears that they uh, they got smart and started doing it how it should have been originally so um, I don't know how this uh, carburetor is going to work because I'm sure it's one of these like new EPA regulated California emissions carb. The fact that this port here is uh, um, you know not actually there unlike on this one here. See? that's that's one of my bigger worries another worry of mine is that the um, you know because of the EPA and California and whatever have you I'm worried that the um, the jets are going to be smaller because they want things to run leaner now so they're cleaner um, so I'm not I don't know I'm sure that the uh, the threads and the they're all the same length. I'm sure and the same thread, so I could probably still take the uh, the orphan tube or orifice tube, whatever the heck they call it, and the jet and put it in here. I'm sure I could take the parts from the um, <coughs> fuel shutoff valve and put it in here. I could use things like the butterfly valve and the choke valve uh, plate um, I could probably still use this same uh, float and needle not that I'm I'm going to just install it just like this first but I'll probably actually try to switch this fuel valve around, around. but as you could see um, they are the same so, and I'm sure the needle's the same wherever the needle went. That's kind of funny. There it is. Except the spring's a little goofed on the thing there. Um, I'm not sure how, how much longer this uh, video is going to go for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. Mm, look at that. Look at that fresh uh, needle in there, though. I'm just gonna throw this baby on. I hate it not being original looking. You could totally tell that it's not the original carb. If you're someone that knows about these engines, like me, if I were to see this on a, another Honda lawnmower, I would instantly know it's not the original carb. Most of the people, that doesn't matter at all to anyone, but I'm very, uh, very picky and choosy when it comes to, uh, anything, really, cars, trucks, automobiles, uh, any kind of engine, very picky about it being completely original. I do like built engines, don't you?
Alright, so uh, let's go ahead. You know, I don't know if you can. <clears throat> this carb bowl is different. Um, and it looks. It looks to be smaller. Not only is this different here, but I think because of this it's smaller. So, anyways, so I'm going to use the old carb bowl on the new carb, because if you were to look at this, or if you were to look at this on the mower, if it was on the mower, you notice right away that it's not the original carb bowl, or, you know, carb. So, um, maybe I'll switch them now. <clears throat> Just so you guys can see that it'll probably fit. Some people are saying, you got a brand new carburetor and you're switching, you're putting old parts on the new carb. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> is you happy or is you sad about it? I think you's pretty sad about it. Okay, <coughs> now... My video will probably run out before I ever finish. <clears throat> I'm gonna switch the parts inside these fuel valves, maybe. Let's take the new one apart. You're taking apart a brand new carburetor? Okay, I got the uh, fuel shutoff valves out. I'm noticing it probably won't pick it up on camera because I didn't turn the flash on but on this new carburetor the inside diameter of the fuel inlet tube and the inside diameter of these holes in the fuel valve whatever you want to call it are a, a lot more smaller on this newer carb and on this one these holes are the diameter of these holes and the diameter of this inlet tube are so much bigger. So I'm thinking, you know, because, well, this is stupid EPA regulations and crap. I'm thinking they, I'm thinking they want, they wanted to reduce the f the amount of fuel that comes into the carb and the fuel flow. So they made everything tinier. So these holes are way bigger and would allow way more fuel in this new carburetor <laughs> stupid so <clears throat> like I was saying on the new carb the fuel shutoff valve is opposite than what it would be on the stock carburetor and the reason why that's kind of a problem is because see on here so it would be the opposite of what it actually tells you on there. And if you look in here, okay, this is the uh, the new one. And then we look inside the old one. And the positions in here are different, as you can see. So I'll go ahead and put the old... Um, lever or valve on the new carburetor so it'll be correct that's what shuts on and off your fuel as you can see the holes are both in the same spots so that's gonna that'll be okay 
they both function the same way in that sort of sense that they come in and out of the same you know it's just that the inside of these valves are what's different see this one's on the left side and this one's down at the bottom so <clears throat> I'll go ahead to I'll go ahead and start buttoning that back together <clears throat> sorry uh, cool I'm pretty stoked to be honest this is pretty cool um, okay let's see so I want to put the old one on the new carbish maters and we'll go ahead and slide this in there kind of carefully as as we see here carefuls you be carefuls and which way did this plate go on here did it go on like so or did it go the other way it went in on like so come on baby you can do it na, 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 na. oh yeah come on baby na, 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 na. I'm pretty stoked because I'm pretty sure this will work. They're pretty much the same part. Same, same, but different. Now it'll be correct as the sticker on the air filter cover box, whatever, for the instructions on the fuel valve. So that way, if anyone ever gets the mower after me, they will not be confused and think that the carburetor is clogged up. Because the fuel valve is in the wrong position than what it says on the mower. Oh yeah. Here we go. Okay. Got this one nice and snugged up. And of course, it is frozen in its... Oh, no it's not. It was just tight. Good. Nice, tight, snug fit. That means no leaks. That's how it was before I took it off, so... I know it's not binding. Because it was nice and snug like that beforehand. So... <clears throat> Here, I'll put this one in. Some people might say, why are you putting back the carburetor, why are you putting back together the carburetor you're not even using? Um, it's just because I like it to be complete and together instead of a bunch of pieces scattered all over the place. Does that make sense? Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, YouTubies, I upset you guys. I hurt your feelings. Okay, whatever. I see, I see. That makes sense. Come on, hold it together, baby. Hold it together for me, please. Perfect. One screw. Why don't you thread? There you go. Cool. Okay. And then of course on the new carburetor, I'm gonna um I'm gonna go ahead and blow through the fuel inlet and make sure that the proper test would be to hook some fuel up to it, a fuel line, but um I'm not gonna do that until I install the carburetor. So for now, just for shits and giggles, I'll blow through there and make sure that the 
everything is sealing when the float is up. I'll hold it upside down so the float is closed and then I'll blow through there and make sure there's no air leaks aka well not aka but as if it was going to leak fuel okay I got the fuel valves switched around it doesn't matter that the fuel valve is in the wrong position on the old carburetor because I'm not using the old carburetor. What matters is that the fuel valve is in the correct position on the new carburetor that I'm using. Let's see. And this one is actually frozen. Okay, so I did something wrong there. Not like it matters because it's on the old one I'm not using, but it's kind of bothering me. <laughs> okay, I got it moving. Now I'll snug it up again. Maybe I snugged it up too tight, but if it's something to do with fuel, I would think that it would need to be pretty tight. Holy moly. Well, whatever moves I guess. I don't know if that's good or not that it's that tight. See. Um well first of all I can't really get a good camera angle on that. It moves. But it doesn't matter. That's the carb I'm not using. That's just a parts carb. This new carb is what matters and that one moves pretty nice and smooth. So, um, like I said, I'm going to hold the carburetor upside down, blow through here, make sure that the needle is seating and that there's no leaks in this fuel valve that I just took apart. Um, I don't know if that's good. Oh yeah, totally sealed up. Okay, no leaks. This is good to go on tomorrow. Um, that's cheesy. Look at all that shaft play. Tons of shaft play on a brand new carburetor. Let's see the old carburetor. Bet you there's no shaft play. No, I just made a fool out of myself, but that's pretty excessive on the new one. There's a lot more shaft play on the new one than the old, than the old one. Look at how much better of a... I don't know. It'll be okay. Could just be my eyes. But it actually looks like the uh, Ventura or whatever. Looks like the diameter right here is just uh, slightly bigger than the one on the old carb. For, um, well, it could be just. Trippin, trappin, trippin, trappin. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, y'all. Mm -hmm. Of course, I need a freaking real camera. Anyway, okay, I'm done with this video. So the things I swapped between the new carb and the old carb so far and probably that's all, sw all swap until uh, other parts are needed like the jet and such things like that swap the fuel valves so the fuel valves in the correct position because they're not on these new cars 
And I swapped the, uh, the bowl. The bowl looks much larger on the, uh, the bowl is much larger off of the old carburetor. The bowl that comes on the new carburetor is much smaller. Um, I'm not sure if that'll have an effect. Um, because the pickup tubes inside, or whatever the heck you want to call it, tube that comes down with the jet inside of it, they're the same exact length. So they both come down to the same spot. So I doubt it would matter that these are different. I just want to have a more original looking carburetor bowl on the mower. Anyways, I'm done for tonight. Um, tomorrow, tune in um, for the new carburetor install. I'm going to be um, adding the, the video of the install and the first startup um, to this video. So, um, if you want to watch that, you're going to have to re-watch the same video, but just fast forward through what you've already watched. Thanks.